Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. We've made it to the end of the week, which means an enormous college basketball weekend is on tap. I'm Tony Mejia. Welcome back to the Playbook Experts YouTube channel, uh, where we're going to recap Thursday night's college basketball and look ahead to Friday's action. The weekend is going to be tremendous Saturday and Sunday as the major conferences wrap up their regular season schedules. And we have some conference tournament action uh, as well in the smaller leagues that uh, some will actually wrap up. Some will set up uh, semifinals and finals for early next week. So it's going to be a fantastic weekend. Uh, let's get going. You can catch my pick packages at pb.buzz slash tm. That's there for you below. You can also see all of my ramblings on X, formerly Twitter, at uh, Mejia De Niro, M-E-J-I-A-D-I-N-E-R-O. So let's get started, uh, and we'll begin with the Atlantic Sun, where Stetson got a unbelievable three-pointer from Stephen Swanson, uh, Stephen Swenson, I'm sure, uh, uh, late in that game against the Jacksonville Dolphins to win 88-87 to and advanced to the Atlantic Sun championship game where they'll face Austin P. So we're either going to get chance of let's go P in the NCAA tournament, or we're going to get the Stetson Hatters making their first ever appearance on uh, in, in the NCAAs. And uh, that outcome will be decided on Sunday. The game we played in the Lands Edmonds Center. I've been there multiple times back when I was a student at UCF. The Knights were in Stetson's conference that goes to show you how uh, how far UCF has come. But Stetson, still in the Atlantic Sun, formerly the Trans-American Athletic Conference, uh, has never been to the NCAA tournament. That could change if they hold serve at home on Sunday. Uh, in the uh, major conferences, uh, the Arizona clinched a Pac-12 regular season title by beating UCLA convincingly, 88 to 65. KJ Lewis led a balanced effort. Just been a dreadful season for the Bruins. And uh, the major happenings in that conference: Washington upset Washington State, that allowed Arizona to clinch. Uh, Cougars will be the number two seed in the Pac-12 tournament, and uh, Washington may be number four. We'll see what happens uh, this weekend. Colorado was a huge winner over Oregon in Eugene. They will finish third in the Pac-12 and probably sewed up an at-large bid. They'll be at Oregon State this weekend and uh, will then have a, a quarterfinal that they'll be favored in, probably against the sub-500 team. And uh, if they handle business there, I think you will see the Buffs as an at-large squad, even if they don't win in Vegas uh, on uh, you know Saturday's uh, automatic bid next week. Uh, Oregon, though, losing uh, to the Buffs slips deep into the bubble. Uh, I don't think they have a way out. They will play a bubble elimination game of sorts against Utah, which fell at Oregon State. The Beavers, in last place in the Pac-12, rose up and took down the Utes. Uh, really crippling loss for Utah. Uh, I think the Oregon-Utah loser on Saturday is done, uh, and the winner will uh, still have some life, but probably has to get to the Pac-12 championship game to uh, you know, get the committee's attention. Uh, in the uh, Sun Belt, we had action there. Uh, Georgia Southern advanced early, uh, also had Louisiana advance. Those teams will, uh, will be part of the Sun Belt quarterfinals. And uh, you also had the Ohio Valley uh, set up its semifinals. We're going to talk about that league because it's a part of our free play here at the end of the video. Uh, the, um, the Horizon League saw a couple of surprises. Milwaukee beat Green Bay up in Green Bay. So that was a big win for the Panthers, who might be the team to beat considering Wright State was defeated at home uh, by Fort Wayne. IPFW is into the mix. Uh, my pre-tournament my, my pre pick, to advance in that league, Youngstown State was defeated. So the Penguins are done. Uh, and, and at this point, it's anybody's game in the Horizon League. Uh, probably end up being a 15 seed, depending on who advances there. Uh, in the uh, Big West, we saw UC Irvine is going to be the regular season champion, so long as they take care of their final game. 
uh, actually clinched that thing, but they, they, they should take care of their final game against Cal State Fullerton to go into the Big West tournament with a winning streak. But uh, they got some help from uh, UC Davis, which upset UC San Diego. So the Tritons will finish second, and the Anteaters are your Big West regular season champs. Uh, and, and you know that's pretty much it. It was a lighter night in uh, in college basketball on Thursday. Again, Arizona winning the Pac-12 tournament, uh, big Pac-12, a regular season title, probably the biggest event that happened. We're going to have some afternoon basketball again on uh, Friday with the uh, Missouri Valley and the uh, Big South and the SoCon all going off at the same time early in the afternoon. The West Coast Conference uh, will continue as uh, you know they ramp up to, to what will likely be another St. Mary's Gonzaga rematch in that final. Uh, we've got some pretty solid regular season games still going on in the A-10. You've got Dayton. Uh, they're, they're squaring off against uh, VCU and San Diego State will host Boise State. Boise, uh, you know, we'll see if they can take down the Aztecs. There is still a ton to be decided over the final two days of the Mountain West uh, with only two seeds decided. Uh, Wyoming and Fresno State are locked into the 8-9 game. Everybody else uh, to be determined, Utah State in the driver's seat to uh, win the outright regular season title, but they've got to get past New Mexico. Uh, and the Aztecs and Broncos will be uh, probably the game of the night in all of college basketball. So uh, we'll see how that shakes out. But uh, it's looking increasingly likely that the Mountain West will get at least five teams in, possibly six. For our free pick on Friday, and yesterday's uh, free pick was – uh, on Siena losing, um, but and, and they did, but they lost it by exactly seven uh, to Niagara. So we pushed on the free play. Let's try to get a winner to close out the week here. Uh, Stetson was good to us earlier in the week, so we've had some uh, success with these free winners. We're going to ride with Moorhead Stake uh, to beat Tennessee Martin and cover the eight and a half points moving into the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament Final in Evansville, uh, a really impressive performance from Moorhead State uh, yesterday beating SIU Edwardsville. Tough luck for uh, underbetters in that game. S you know, the game was a clear under for about 37 minutes, and then SIUE wouldn't stop fouling down the stretch despite the outcome already being decided, and a spread that was in the 136 range ended up going over 140. So that was rough. But uh, I, I, I was impressed with Moorhead State's poise throughout that game against a pretty decent uh, SIUE defense, and uh, they made the free throws down the stretch to uh, create separation and keep that from becoming a game. So Moorhead State, I believe, will advance to the OVC tournament final, lay the eight and a half for our free play. We're going to be back next week on Monday with a uh, college basketball recap of the entire weekend and looking forward to the goings on on Monday night. Thanks for joining me all week. You, you've got a lot of free winners, a lot of information. Be sure to like and subscribe on the Playbook Experts YouTube channel to get all our content. There's going to be a Friday show later on, a roundtable, where we'll talk all things college basketball and NBA with Mark Lawrence, Andy Isco, and our producer, Greg DePalma. For Playbook Experts, I'm Tony Mejia, wishing you a great weekend and signing off.